So this is already grouped. You know? like this one is three column, four column in one group. So without group, actually group and ungroup, we just right click here, group and ungroup. So let's say ungroup is so many columns. Right? 32 columns. But when I group it, actually the marking still talking about 32, but it's less detailed already. Why 32? Because we need to keep the labeling isolated. Else, uh, in the construction site, uh, you have too many column 18 uh, for five place of column 18, then you need to tell on the column 18 and which grid, which grid. So let's say we keep the column marking for you, so only the contractor won't have it. See a lot of similar detailing, even the same that they want. Okay, this is a column routine. Okay, now I go to continue. Uh, this is a column routine. And then this is a tracking changes of record. I think this one I just uh, briefly explain here. This one basically is a, uh, let's say you you change, you put the extra loading to one slab or one beam. How many beam? It could be talking about surround, uh, surrounding beam will be changed. They will give you the report. Like this example, record one and record two, no change. So it means, let's say you do the minor changes, maybe the analysis diagram will slightly change. Moment increase from 150 to 160. But if the rebar still the same, then here cannot, here say no different. We refer to the, you see, main bar, this means the rebar or link. This means they will give you the report. Whatever they say, multi story, uh, 500 being, you put, the client asks you to put water tank, add another water tank there, so you run it, they will maybe give you, say, six column change, but, uh, uh, maybe 20 being a uh, foundation, uh, this one. This uh, for you, convenience, no need to compare one by one. Uh, but normally, experienced engineer, they roughly know which beam, but like, better those other beam only to check out. Uh, this is a uh, call tracking record. You can lock record and uh, a lot of record, compare record 1, record 2, record 3 right there. Okay, this is a transfer slab. This is a slab on the, on, on the B, on the uh, shear wall on the B or column on the B, column on the slab, wall on the slab. So this one is a slab control. So maybe here I can show you more in the transfer slab. So basically, this is a uh, model. So we can see this a uh, 3D. So basically, this is a 3D. This is a condo. Then you can make a day of life and like, notion of everything is here. And uh, from here, we also can see some. Uh, how are we talking about the displacement? Let's say it's under the. They look. So you must get the design is a, it's a too small. You may not uh, be able to find things. And uh, let's say we refer to the floor. Okay, so this is a normal edge. This is a moment, let's say if I cut through as a section. So this is a place our shear wall is here. I'll give you the moment. I see the, I see the and another one is a column. So from here at the same time I can see the depression also. This is the depression. Okay, so Already. Here we can see the different uh, the M lock from different lock combinations. Stress control force, as we can interpret using six degree of uh, freedom force condensation, structural behavior, understanding, design, telling, design application, apply to the power wall, beam, the opening, and front. That means our beam opening, uh, shear wall, everything we are using as. This is pure freedom, I shower. That's why you can see the matching. 
in the theme also, transfer theme, and uh, uh, being an open, open. So this is a couple of, actually this type of topic we've done before, actually the, we just talk about this couple of shows, we can spend uh, half an hour, one an hour uh, with some calculation. Last time we did before, I think a few times, some is KL, they were technical talk on this part. So this is uh, we create a large shield wall, then create a very big opening, large opening in the center. So the server, software automatically will form this uh, like here, here, and then this is a couple of beam. So but this one, couple of beam and the beam uh, is different. Let's say your model has a two shield wall connected by the beam. That is a different, matching different, because beam is a line element connected to the surface. So couple of shear or couple of beam, that means the beam itself already has a surface compared to the surface. That means in terms of stiffness, there is a difference. Even you can say, I put the beam deck, like transfer, uh, girder, there is a two meter depth. Yes, the stiffness they can detect, no problem with the in the design. But the connections that beam to the shear wall are that many, maybe not accurate. Here is one line on it, it's not, they don't have another dimension. So this is a lot of, uh, uh, how we call that, uh, analysis result. Uh, we can see that this is a mo moment, uh, this is under window case, uh, this one is negative, one is positive. Uh, there is a couple of big moment diagram. Then we can even uh, can Z2, you see the detail. This is a deflection behavior. Then even we have a stress control for the window case. Uh, then we can Z2, this is a vertical cut. And, uh, so we can see the figure in one shot. So this is the deflections. Uh, actually, long time already, we already benchmark with the theoretical. So you can see the moment is uh, it achieved the maximum moment in one third of the height of the building. This is, uh, there's an agreement with the textbook. Okay, so this one maybe I will show you another example. So basically, this is a spatial model. Why we, we, we see the spatial model? Because if you construct like that, this building will fall down because they only have uh, one direction, the other direction not with friends. But for study purpose, testing purpose, uh, as long as they detect only single grid, they will lock another side as a, as a pin. This is just for the study purpose. Uh. That's why this direction for no data, no information, only this direction. Okay, so this is a 3D. This is a 3D view, let's say, uh, of this one. Then uh, let's say we're talking about this and next. This one, we go to individual, we go to the window. Okay, maybe I will compose selection. Okay, so this is a. Uh, Composition. So from here actually I can uh, extract out all the, uh, how we call that, uh, information I just now I show you. Let's say you can click one of the beam. So this is the one we're talking about. Not this beam. So from here we also can do the, for example, all the To the whole horizon. This is a, let's say the wind blow the other side from left to right. You can see the moment value. They also also increase, increase. They also one third of the building, you will get the maximum. Then this one, of course, you can see the moment, you can see the shear force, uh, you can see the ACL force, everything. And uh, let's say you want to have a loading day long, see the moment is different. So this one, let's say you go to, later on I will talk about more detail about the uh, size meeting, but this example actually you can see something. So this is a 3D displacement, let's say the uh, individual load, 
that we know actually from here, you can see the displacement now. Huh? This one is from the point of lateral law. Then this one actually is talking about linear time history. Then we have the seismic animation. So seismic actually we have the income value and the, the real time history. Income value, let's say you start the Actually, there is a slide I, I need to amplify more. Let's say uh, this is a mode one, mode two, mode three. You can see it now. Ah, it was a bit shaky. Mode number four, mode number five. But this is not a real time. Follow the per second, uh, how many seconds they will shift like that. This is a pattern. So normally in the design, they will select the, the, the in the beginning uh, the view pattern of uh, one to four because uh, the, based on the angle value solver uh, that the the infrared one is a critical uh, case for design. For design. Then we do have this. Uh, so we choose uh, linear time history. Linear time history actually, if you, this one not 2000. Let's make an animation. I think I can show linear time history in the another seismic example. It's another pattern of a movement from the seismic. On to the next one. Being with opening. So being with opening actually we also as I mentioned we are using a six degree of then we really go to uh, like shear wall and we match the beam and come out the uh, stress control moment shear force and everything. So actually you can look into detail, you can set through the uh, control. So this one actually is a design. Stress control force, section design, for important cost, moment and axial force, shear and portion, diagonal bar design. Then we have some reference uh, to do this. Benchmark with this uh, manual. Actually, we got one journal, it's from M.M. Manzo and Kian Huatan. This one they are using the uh, manual method. But manual method, if you're talking about just a simple opening like this, no problem. But manual method, they cannot control some odd opening uh, can be not systematically systematically arranged. So this is the detailing uh, of the opening. So actually I have one example beam opening. So as I said, this is just a clear, very simple beam. Then on the plan view, just a one line, and we put the apply the loading UDL 